So about a month ago, Runway released their Gen 3 text-to-video model, and I can confidently say that it's one of the best, if not the best, AI video generators currently available. Now, if you've been following me on X lately, you'll know that I've been sharing some of my favorite creations using the model. In today's video, I'm showcasing eight different prompt categories that Gen 3 excels in. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are at the homepage of Runway and we can click over here where it says get started and that takes us to the Gen 3 Alpha. So there's a section here for us to enter the prompt and there's also a guide that was actually quite helpful. On the left here when you click settings it gives you the option to toggle between fixed or random seed and also to remove the watermark. And down at the bottom here you can select the duration of the video. So the two options that you have is five seconds and 10 seconds. Now, if you're not on the unlimited plan like me, just know that the generations use up your credits quite quickly. 10 second generations cost 50 credits and five seconds cost 25 credits. Let's now have a look at the different categories you can generate. The first one is FPV or first person view. So here's the first one, fast FPV drone fly through, and it's going through a nice city. And there's also a time lapse happening. Here's another example the camera speeds through shimmering ice caves. And it looks like it's on a piece of ice as well as it's flowing through. So I love this one. Now it's flying through a magical forest. I was trying to generate stuff that we'd never seen before. Look at that, even how it like picks up the speed and then it ends with the waterfall, very nice. Here's an underwater shot and just how everything just works well. There's not many artifacts, a really nice shot. Here's one of my favorite ones because of the rotation uh, and it's some sort of like futuristic city. And then it just sort of goes into this little circle spiral at the end. And it just, I don't know, I, I really enjoyed this one. Here's another one of my favorite ones. It's supposed to be some sort of hallway. And then it just ends with this sort of, we're in like some sort of spaceship and we can see earth. Love this one. Here's another cool example. You can see there, there's some lava and there's a volcano sort of erupting. But yeah, look how great the, uh, the smoke and just everything works well. Here's another example of a fly through and it's going through a temple. And I sort of like at the end, there's a little passage, there's a little way that you can see how it just sort of goes through that hole and then it just expands. Uh, this is where it does really well. The next category is time lapses. Here's the first time lapse and it's sort of like a still shot of a city and you can just see all the cars just speeding through and you can even see that it's changing. It's, it's getting, it's becoming nighttime as well. So that's the first one. Here's another example. It's sort of like a bustling market and it, I really like how the speed and duration of all the humans are moving at the same time. Uh, and obviously the uh, the time is changing as well. So another great example. Here's the next example. This is actually one of my favorite ones. Check this out. Look at that. I love how it sort of just pans to the right and just look at that. All the cars just moving. Definitely all, like one of my favorite ones, that one. And then we've got sand dunes. I mean, yeah, look, this one was kind of kind of like a lackluster example, but I like how the stars at the end showed up. So that's what I liked about this one. And then obviously we've just got some mountains here as well. Uh, which isn't too bad. I like how the sunset changed as well. And you can see it went down and then, yeah, that's, a, that's the last example. Next, we have hyperlapses. And you're probably thinking, what's a hyperlapse? Well, here's the first example. It's sort of walking through a subway and it's following everyone. And it's sort of like just... It's fast paced, but it's just sort of moving towards the same direction. Here's another example. It's a shopping center and it's, yeah, we're just sort of walking through. And this is what I love, how it ends the video. Just a nice, a nice view of the Christmas tree. This is an outdoor one. It's a hyperlapse, but it's also a fly through as well uh, through a city. This one's really cool. It's a museum. Everyone's moving really, really quick. And then this is what I love. I, I love it. It always ends with a nice view. This is a market hyperlapse, similar to the time lapse from before, but the difference is it's moving forward. So another great generation. And here's the last one. It's a concert. But one thing I like about this one is how at the end, it sort of just pans up and then it ends with the actual stage. So brilliant example. All right, now let's see how well it does with generating humans. Here's the first example. You've got like a street photographer and he's taking a photo, but he pans to the left 
And just look how realistic it is. It's, it's such a great shot. Here's another example. And you've got this girl, she's on a hike and she's having a look at the map and she's moving her hand there with the pencil to sort of draw the trail. Uh, this one came out very clean. This is actually one of my favorite ones. Yeah, there was, there's a bit of a glitch at the start there, but I just love this one. Look how clean it is and the background and it just zooms in on his head. Very, very nice. Here's another example. She's sort of gardening in the backyard. Uh, there's a little bit of artifacts when she's moving stuff, but it still comes out pretty good. Here's one more, and I really like this one because the stars are moving in the background. He looks up, and then the fire is just moving. Beautiful. Now, I also tested different styles or variations of generations, and the style that I went for was the anime style. Like, have a look at this. This is the first one. Um, look at this. It's kind of cool. There's sort of like the fluidity is really good, and then there's just the smoke. He's... I don't know why I picked him having a vape, but I think I wanted to test how good the smoke came out, but I really like that one. Then there's this one here. It sort of just zooms up to the girl. She's moving a little bit, but look how nice the snow looks like. Then we have this one here. She's in the kitchen and she's making some food. I know there's a bit of a glitch there, but I just like how well the anime style came out. And then one more here as well. We have this one walking through a field. The colors are nice. The sun's really good. Um, definitely what you would see in an anime style film. This one's kind of cool. She's playing the piano. This one's kind of cool. She's playing a violin. I know there's a bit of an artifact in the bottom right there, but still came out nice. This one's really cool. I really liked rain and snow. I'm actually surprised at how well rain and snow generates. And then this one's really cool. He's sitting at a cafe and he's taking a sip of uh, a tea or a coffee there. So very, very nice. All right, next we have text animation. And you guys are going to love this one. Here's the first one. You've got a baker decorating a cake with icing and the word sweet comes out. I know it's not perfect, but that, I mean, it came out really nice at the end. And then obviously she, she sort of goes over it, but I love this example. This one was kind of cool as well. Uh, it was a coffee and they're pouring more coffee in there. And then just look at that energy. It just sort of pops up. Like, this is amazing. This is another good one as well. We're in the sand dunes and then out of nowhere, time appears. This is another good one that I really liked. And I feel like a lot of people would love this example. Um, and obviously it's the word autumn. But look how perfect the wording is. And this only this was the first prompt that came out. Like, and this is how good it came out. This one's kind of cool as well. We've got Joy uh, just with a bunch of bubbles. Um, yeah, very nice. This one is really cool. We're filling up uh, a glass of milk. And yeah, I don't know what that is. Is that ice? Yeah, but look, I don't know. Still comes out nice. This is another example as well. Um, a bunch of flowers. And look how nice the flowers are. They're like... That looks realistic as well. And we zoom out uh, the word bloom. I know the, the middle letter is a bit weird, but still comes out nice. Next, I started testing visual effects. Here's the first one. It's sort of an infinite zoom into a fractal pattern. It's kind of like a kaleidoscope. Uh, look how beautiful that looks. Honestly, it's very nice. Next, um, I it was just a close up of a cluster of bubbles. Uh, but yeah, look how, I mean, that looks very clean. It looks like such a great effect. This one was really good. And I was surprised at how well it does with smoke. It, it does well with smoke, but also the color of the smoke just changing there. Brilliant. This one was kind of interesting. We are uh, sort of, I mean, I don't know what this is, to be honest. It's sort of digital glitches and distortions, but it's a nice infinite zoom. I love this one. Here's a dynamic shot of colorful ink swirling. It looks like sort of ink and what it looks like in water. Beautiful. Then we've got this other one, which is a hypnotic spiral pattern. Um, yeah, looks something I've never seen before. So very, very nice. This next one's kind of cool. It's transitions and illusions. And look how nice this comes out, okay? This is the first example. You don't really know what it is, right? Does a spiral and then boom, out of nowhere, we're in some sort of ice cave. Like, wow. Next, we're sort of zooming in to a uh, snowflake and then it turns into a kaleidoscope. So very nice. This one's awesome as well. We're in a bunch of leaves and then boom, <laughs> loved it. This is interesting as well. We have like some sort of like dirt or something and then it zooms out and then next minute we're sketching something and then to top it off, a pencil comes out of nowhere. Love that. And finally, we have infinite zooms, okay? And this is the last one that I worked on, uh, which is kind of cool. It sort of zooms in 
to this image. You don't really know what it is. And then what I love about it is how it ends. It ends with such a nice close up shot of the eggs. This one's kind of interesting as well. Like, I, I mean, it could have been anyone literally in this blimp, but it gets closer and closer. And then at the end, you see a bunch of friends and there's a bit of a glitch there, but it still came out nice. This one was really cool. Look at this. Look how it zooms in. It's not focused on that leaf. Okay, and now let's focus. Boom. This is another great one as well. Um, it's one of those um, Christmas balls. Uh, it zooms in. Like, look at that. That's uh, so good. So that's it for the video, guys. I really just wanted to show you guys all of the different categories uh, that I came up with. Let me know your favorite ones or if there's anything that you guys have been generating that comes out really well with Runway. Um, I'm very impressed with what they've I can safely say this is the best current text to video generator model out at the moment so great job runway and i'm really interested to see what they do with image to video but anyway that's really it for the video guys i will see you guys in the next one peace